It's not every day that actors from our area make it to the big screen in Hollywood, let alone be a part of a worldwide phenomenon. Since leaving the area, two Harpersville natives have been seen in two very popular Netflix original shows in the last few years. And earlier this week, I got the chance to sit down with them and talk about their journey from Harpersville to Hollywood. Matthew and Russell Dennis Lewis, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, super excited to have you guys. Uh, how how are you guys doing? No, we're doing great. Yeah, great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having us. Born and raised right in the area, right here in the Southern Tier. Um, just kind of really take me through, really, uh, I, don't know, I guess, kind of your guys' background. Uh, you know, what's your family like? What, what was your, you know, your, your younger years like, your, your life like, I guess? Growing up in Harpersville, as anyone from the area knows, uh, it's a, like there are a lot of small rural towns, and Harpersville is definitely one of those. Uh, we grew up on a dirt road up in the hills. Uh, Went to Harpersville School. Our graduating class is like 70, 75 people. Uh, you know, so it's just a small little quaint upbringing. Uh, we spent most of our young, younger years playing out in the woods and the fields with our brothers and friends. And, you know, that was our upbringing. As far as like acting and stuff, we kind of got into that later on uh, in our like early 20s. Uh, we, I was going to Broome Community College. I uh, had to take an arts credit, and the only class available was an acting class. And I was like, well, I did a couple of plays in school. Can't be that hard. Uh, and then I fell in love with it and then ended up uh, auditioning for a conservatory in New York City and got in and moved to New York City. And, uh, yeah, so that's how I got started. Yeah, and then I just followed suit. <laughs> I said, <laughs> you know, I said I was straight for a couple of years while he was, you know, in New York City. But um, we'd always been kind of, like, we always toyed around making little home videos and films with our friends and stuff. And we always had fun doing it. I don't think we ever considered it as much of a career, though, because the opportunity in upstate New York isn't very big for the arts, you know, especially if you want to make a career out of it. I guess every actor really has their sort of breakout role, you know, or like the first sort of uh, show as like an extra or movie as an extra. Or what was sort of your first uh, your first role? Uh, well, I think like the biggest break we had would have been um, the Netflix series that we did a few years ago called Godless. Um, it was very well received. It was nominated for a dozen Emmys, one, three. Um, and it really opened up some doors for us, including the current show, The Queen's Gambit, because uh, it's the same writer and director. So uh, when he adapted the novel to the screenplay, uh, he rewrote some of the smaller supporting characters uh, as twin brothers with us in mind. So that show kind of solidified, like, our careers as twins. Everywhere you go on Twitter, it's always trending. It's everywhere. So did you guys ever think that something like that would blow up to, to where it is today? Well, we had, you know, thoughts and hopes that it would be a good show and do well, just because we had previously worked with the writer and director, Scott Frank on Godless, as he had mentioned. And that was already a sensation did so well that we went into it knowing that the product would be good and the story was good. And just from being on set and seeing how everyone carried themselves and acted, like we knew it was going to be a good product, but we did not expect it to become an overnight sensation, like mostly by word of mouth because there wasn't a lot of advertising for it. So it just caught on like wildfire. And next thing we know, I think now it's been number one in like 63 or 64 countries around the world. Um, you guys have anything you want to say to your hopeful uh, new fans and current fans right back here on the Southern Tier? <laughs> uh, no, it, it's just, it's honestly just overwhelming the amount of love we've gotten from back home. Yeah. Uh, I mean, from the teachers and old friends and high school classmates and family and it's, it's, it's just overwhelming to get that love and it just, it, it honestly just, it, it, it's exciting to know that we're making such a small town proud, you know. Uh, it's, it's not very often that, you know, someone can leave Harpersville and, you know, and just have the experiences that we've been fortunate enough to have. Um, so we're just truly blessed to just, you know, have a great support system. It's just humbling, but just, you know, love you 607. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Russell, thank you so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. Um, and, you know, stay safe with everything going on out there. And uh, keep us in mind, you know, 607 pride. <laughs> <laughs>